going on you guys it's your boy twx27 in the building second video <laughs> i'm on a roll now in this video i want to talk about something important i'm going to be talking about the mcu oh what a downfall am i right <laughs> how the mighty have fallen i don't know what happened like this universe started off great. It started off, you know, with the Iron Man movies leading up to Infinity War and Endgame. Like, this was a masterpiece of a universe. But now, it's... Uh, I don't even know what it is now. And the reason why I'm talking about the MCU is because uh, Deadpool vs. Wolverine, or... Oh, wait, no, is it, or is it Wolverine vs. Deadpool? The, either way, that movie is coming out soon. And truthfully, I'm not even excited about it. I'll still watch it, but I'm not excited about it. Because since the MCU has had a streak of not so great movies, that's why I'm very worried that they're probably gonna mess this up. I mean, I don't know if this could be a standalone film because, like Deadpool, it's its, its own thing, right? But I think now they're like putting it into the MCU because of the whole multiverse thing. So I think that's how he's gonna come in. Let me start off with movies that haven't been so great lately. Uh, Ant Man and the Lost Quantum Mania, uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, there was Thor: Love and Thunder. Yeah, Black Widow. Oh no, actually, I liked Black Widow. I think I made a video of Black Widow like a year ago. I liked the movie. Many people didn't like it, but I liked it. Oh wait, there was also uh, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Uh, well, actually, no. That wasn't a bad film. It was mid, but it wasn't bad. However, nobody's really talking about it, so I'll keep that as a mid film for now. Oh my god. The Marvels. The Marvels. Oh my god. Oh, that was a terrible movie. That movie was awful. Uh, I mean, I'll admit, Kamala Khan was cool, I guess, but I don't know. It's just. The movie itself was awful. I mean, the jokes were weird, everything felt forced, a lot of the plot lines didn't seem to make any logical sense. I don't know, it was just, it was just not a good movie. 15% <laughs> on IMD. <laughs> or is it Rotten Tomatoes? Doesn't matter, it's still a low score. <laughs> I will say this, with Ant-Man and the Lost Quantum Mania and Multiverse of Madness, the effects were really good. I love the visual effects, you know. You know, from them jumping from multiverse to multiverse and, uh, you know, Ant-Man going to the quantum realm. The VFX are insane. They are insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Um, I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video. Uh, there are going to be some spoilers in this. Not that it really matters. But, yeah, there are going to be some spoilers. Yeah, so the VFX in Quantum Mania, Multiverse of Madness, pretty good. But the stories, they just fell flat to me. Honestly, them bringing Darren back just... And especially as Modoc, I'm like, what the heck? That's just so weird. And Cassie was just not likable in that movie. Like, at all. Like, I liked her better in... Like, I, by the way, I'm talking about, like, the character themselves, not, like, the actress, because the actress changed. Cassie in Ant-Man 1 and 2 was more likable but in this one it was just a very annoying brat <laughs> so yeah thor love and thunder that, that that movie was goofy as hell that movie was goofy as hell bro especially when thor was like talking to the axe and then to mjolnir i'm like bro what are you because because i know they were trying to like be funny in that scene but there's a time and a place like i don't know it's just like this is also my other issue with the MCU. They're really overdoing the jokes. And listen, I like comedy. I like to laugh. But if you're putting jokes in every single moment, it makes it hard for me to take the film seriously or focus on the plot. Like, if I wanted to just laugh, I would go to, like, a comedy club. Like, go to a stand-up thingy or just watch funny videos on YouTube. You know, like, I don't know, like, they just have to dim the jokes down just a little bit. I will say No Way Home was pretty good. It was really nice to have uh, Tom Holland, Tommy McGuire, uh, Andrew Garfield, you know, all these versions of Spider-Man together. Like, that was really cool. I'll, I'll, I'll give the phase that. 
Actually, there was another good movie in this phase. I'll say the first is No Way Home, and second is Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Volume 3. That was a good movie. Shout out to James Gunn. I was really worried that they were going to butcher Guardians because I like the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're honestly my favorite team in the whole of the MCU. So I was really worried they were going to butcher the movie. But they did a pretty good job, and I'm happy about that. Now, in terms of the TV shows, um, well, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Daredevil, Punisher, uh, oh yeah, I think there was that Hawkeye series. Yeah, all these are pretty good. I really need to start like writing down stuff before I make videos. Yeah, there's also Loki, WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, yeah, all these were pretty good series. Yeah, especially the Loki series. It was pretty well done. Oh, <laughs> I just remembered a really bad series. She-Hulk. Mrs. She-Hulk. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. I, I got a lot to say about that series. Well, first of all, it was trash and just not needed. It's just a bunch of, like, man-hating stuff. The character wasn't likable. It's just a useless series. It's like, what am I even watching here? Just nothing about this show was fun entertaining or even engaging it was all just a goofball it was all just a dumpster fire yeah and um i think they're making like two avenger films in the future uh i think one's called secret war no, wait no 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 my mistake um that's that's a series i think it's called kang dynasty i think it's going to be a two-parter and i am not looking forward to those films Usually when Avengers films are coming out, I'm usually excited. I'm like, yeah, let's go! But, like, there are two reasons why I'm not excited about these two upcoming movies. It's because of the streak of not-so-good MCU movies. And the fact that the Russo brothers are not going to be directing either of them. Yeah, like, we all remember the Russo brothers, you know, when they made Infinity War and Endgame. You know, the masterpieces. But, you know... Disney, I say Disney because Marvel's run by Disney. Disney made a decision to get a different director to direct these two movies instead of the Russo brothers. And I'm like, wow. And I'm like, wow, this uh, <laughs> this doesn't make me angry at all. It's sad, you know, because now the bar is completely low. Yeah, I guess I'll stay a bit optimistic. Who knows, maybe the MCU might be good again. They're probably going to have to reboot the entire universe for that to happen, but I don't know. Let's just see what they do in the future. You know, it's like what MJ said. Ugh. Just wanted to get some food. I'm starving. Anyway. Uh, okay, cool. It's kind of like what MJ said in one of the Spider-Man movies. Uh, expect disappointment so you'll never really be disappointed. I mean, I'm still going to be disappointed, but... <laughs> Yeah, let me just, uh, you know, apply that logic to the MCU right now. Thank you all for watching the video. Please be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, hopefully I'll be posting again soon. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.